Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, uh, Robo Papa here, and today we're going to continue the build that we started last time. And if you missed it, you can click right over here, um, and we'll take you to that video. So last week, just to recap, we built this uh, RF module uh, to control the joysticks, which then will send the data to an Arduino, which in turn will have another module like that, which will be the receiver to control this bed puppy. Um, so what we'll do today, we'll put everything together, connect all the batteries and the power, uh, finalize the code, and we'll take it to a test drive outside. So we got a lot to do, um, so let's get started. Okay, so what I did so far is, uh, you saw this on the last video, um, and I was wanting to have a case for it, that way I can actually move it and attach a battery for it. So I printed this case right over here, where this um, hole will be for the RF module, while this hole can be for the USB in case we need it. And I created a, a, a little standoff over here around that. That way you can sit very nicely and not, not, uh, not move a lot. So you can see now it's actually fitting very nice and I can move it. Um, and the RF module is actually showing over here. That way you can sub, uh, transmit the, the data with no problem. And then I build also a top that can go only one way. Um, if you can see over here, I put it in the wrong um, orientation and it's not fitting very well. So all you need to do is actually um, change it, the, the orientation of it. And now, after I put the screws over here, I have kind of like a box for the joystick itself. So all I need, still need to do is to create like two holes over here for uh, the battery pack that I will have. Um, it's just probably like a five double a battery that has the wires so i'll just drill a hole then we'll go through this that way um i will be able to bring it up from here and connect it to the battery um, section of the trinket pro which is right over here and then it will power this so i'll start doing that i just wanted to show you how the module itself um, can fit over here in the in the box itself um, so next I'll start dealing with um, the, um, the motor and uh, the, the, the motor shield. And one thing that I found is that the Edafruit motor shield can support um, up to 1.2 amps and 3 amps uh, spikes. But I noticed that the tank itself um, is actually drawing more amps than the 1.2 so what I did I actually purchased um, this uh, saber tooth um, let me try to zoom in a little bit over here it's the saber tooth with uh, two channels and each channel can draw up to 12 amps um, continuously um, so I'm going to use this um, module which is not really a shield, but you can still use it with the Arduino. Um, and the motors themselves will connect over here. And then you have the battery pack. Uh, the nice thing about this module is actually it has a 5 volt regulator, which you can um, feed it to your Arduino. So if I get this output over here, this pin, uh, the second one, is actually a 5 volt and that can fit to the Arduino and then the Arduino can send um, the data input over here so that will control the motors if they want to go forward and what speed or backwards and what speed and that all depends on this dip switch um, and they, they have the documentations over here um, in the box that comes with that so I will hook up everything I'll need to change the code um, for this uh, that way we don't need to use the Adafruit um, so let's go over the code that actually deals with this and my phone just vibrates, sorry about that um, let's, uh, let's look at the code um, for this and then I'll hook up everything together and maybe we can take it to a test drive outside so here we are in the code um, you can see that I already commented out the Adafruit code that was before because we're not using that shield 
um, I downloaded the library, which is for the Sabertooth, and you can find it um, right over here um, in this URL. And I put the description down below, and uh, I'll put the link, sorry, in the description down below. And that's where you can download the library that you um, would like to work with. Um, when you, after you downloaded that, you will have the, the Sabertooth.h and the software serial for it that you will need to include. And the software serial is basically just uh, replacing the hardware serial. That way, if you want to print out something to the log, you can do, do that. Um, the, the code itself is very similar to what um, we saw already in the first video. Uh, just have the, the pipe over here for the um, receiver and just a couple of constants that were used for the Adafruit, but if using it also over here for the Sabertooth. I'm initializing the serial and the Sabertooth itself, and I'm declaring it over here as a software serial. Um, initializing the, the radio, which is um, just um, for the RF module, and then beginning the serial, um, the software serial and the saber tooth. And then in the loop itself, um, as long as I have available radio, I'll do this code, which reads the radio and get the joystick left and right, um, the up and down. Right now, I'm not using the left and right on the joysticks. And then I'm mapping it, the values, which comes from 0 to 1,023, um, to be between negative 127 to 127. So I'm putting a constraint on the value, and then I'm mapping that value to be 0 to negative 127, which is full power reverse, and 1,023 to 127, which is full power forward. I'll do the set, the, that uh, mapping in the left and the right motor. And then I'm sending those to the Sabertooth itself. And then I'm continuing. In case that i losing the connection of the radio, um, which is coming over here as, as the done, I'm setting up the, um, the motors to be as zero. That way um, it's not going to go crazy and obviously can stop. Uh, the print value is in case that I need to debug, needed to debug it, just taking the values from the joysticks, all the values of it, and output them. And here's the start radio that will start listening. So that's basically the code that um, will run the, the motors and everything with Sabertooth. So let's take that to a test drive and see how it goes. Alright guys, that's all the time that we have for today. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't take the tank outside uh, for two reasons. One, it was raining a lot. And two is that I lost two motors. Um, one was dead on arrival and SparkFun actually sent me a replacement. So two thumbs up for them. Uh, the other one I will need to purchase from China and it will take uh, a while to arrive here. So please let me know if you have any questions or comments about the tank, the code, the Sabertooth, etc. Um, leave me a comment down below and I'll get to back to you with, uh, to my best knowledge. Um, always don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, it helps me to know that you like what I'm doing and uh, that it helps you. Um, I hope in the future I'll actually, will, when I get the motors, I'll be able to take the, the tank outside and show it to you. Alright guys, thanks a lot. See you later.